Welcome back to Make Me a Fan. I'm the Jag. I'm Pete. And today we're recapping Ground Zero's Regulators Mount Up Encyclopedia. Yes, sir. This is match number four. Four. Fifth for the series. Fifth for the series, but that one was uh doesn't really count. It, well, we we don't know where it's gonna air. Okay, very true. So it's match number four it. on IWTV is none other than Danny Freaking Limelight versus Adrian Quest. Now we said yesterday. Danny Limelight is a cool dude. He's a Marine, former drill sergeant. You gotta love a guy that serves his country. He's in fantastic shape. He can fly. He can do everything he wants to in the ring, but he's kind of a jerk. Well, yeah, right here. You're seeing him tear, tear one of the fan signs. What a clown. First of all, you come out to the ring with your, your New York crap. You're talking about NYC on your stomach. You got your Puerto Rican flag, which I respect the heritage, but you know what? NYC can kiss my behind. How about that? You got something to say to the Jag? You can come talk to me right about my chest level, sucker, because I don't like the way you ripped up that fan sign. I don't like the way you're talking trash. But you know what? I can't talk too much trash. Because if he was a freaking drill sergeant, he could probably whip my ass. Uh, <laughs> but you know, there's somebody else that's looking to pick a fight that's got some unresolved issues going back to the fact that they were tagging at the last show Ooh, yes. against Vandergriff and Drake. Mm. And he got kicked in the dingling. Yes, he did. He got, he got kicked kick in the dingling, guys. That ain't fun. No, it ain't. I tell you what, if you ever get caught caught low, as we like to say, you get caught low, it's a bad day. So I think Anthony remembers that bad day, and he's coming back to Adrian, I'm sorry, Anthony. Adrian remembers that bad day, and he's coming back to kick some butt. I said Anthony because I see the clown on the screen again. All right, so before the match even started, my man couldn't even take off his Budweiser jacket. No. Instead, Mr. Uh, Limelight is just gonna Pearl Harbor him and kind of jump before the match even started. 100%, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that right away from the jump, we already know that there's an unresolved issue. Clearly, Danny doesn't like the crowd. Clearly, he's got a huge problem with Adrian. Yeah. And he's definitely not afraid to let people know that. You know, Danny, I'm gonna treat you with the respect you deserve as a, a, a fantastic, phenomenal wrestler. But you rubbed me the wrong way in this match, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. But you know what? My man Adrian has your number. You can see right here he's diving through the ropes, taking the fight to Mr. Limelight. Before Limelight could get any kind of more sneaky, dirty tricks, he took it to him right from the jump. And you can kind of see the back and forth, and even the frustration on Limelight's face oh, right there. He's just he's, he's trying everything, but Quest keeps kicking out because Quest is ride or die. 100%. Quest is not gonna give up, man. So he's got a fighter's heart, a warrior's heart, a warrior spirit, and I don't know if Limelight has enough to take him out. What do you think? I don't know, but he's certainly taking it out on Isaac. He's, he, was, right. he was on top of Isaac for everything. Yeah, why don't rise on a glass of milk on a paper plate in a snowstorm? Isaac could not get a breath for Mr. Limelight, but Limelight, you know what? It's cool, man. I get it. Oh, they hit him again. Look at this, man. Limelight is strong. Yeah, well, no, I would not want those kicks. No. That that that, that doesn't look like a fun day at all. No, nah, no, nah, bad day at the office to eat those kicks. But look, Adrian's fighting back. He gets him there, hits him with a couple of shots. Oh, and then, oh man, look, I gotta tell you, man. They say if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> and Danny was trying, okay? 100%. He was. And, and, and then he's just asking for adulation from the crowd. I mean, again, it's not very hard to tell who's the bad guy and who's the good guy. Not and, at all, know, I wanna punch him right in the Y of his NYC tattoo. And when he doubles over, hit him with that dragon punch. Oh, you're gonna freaking uppercut. But you know what? Quest didn't give up. He kept fighting back. Look, he had him on that brain buster right there. He's ki he's kicking some butt. Quest goes up top. He's gonna do what he does best, that fly through the air. Yeah, that Phoenix star splash right here. Look at that. <sighs> yeah. And then he rolled out, fortunately, because Danny moved. But he landed on his feet. To have that much control of your body, to have that much awareness of where you are in the air, that dude is prolific and gifted. My and then goodness. they had a standing Spanish fly right here. Yeah, oh yeah, that was a hell of a move. Yeah, there's a lot of, dude, if you're not watching this on IWTV right now, you better stop playing around and go check this out. I'm telling you, anytime Adrian Quest is on television or you can see him live, well, you he better was just go. on GCW. Unfortunately, the match ended early with Tony Deppin because yeah. Tony, unfortunately, uh, had a, a contusion to the back of his head. But, yeah. you know, I, I it, it, was, it, was, it was fantastic. We saw him at Bar. Had yep. a phenomenal match at Bar that we'll be recapping soon. Yep, so we have Bar Championship. Adrian Quest is everywhere. Absolutely he is talented. static, static with Andy and, and Oh yeah, Ray. for sure, but look at this. Yeah, that Dragon Sleeper. Dragon Sleeper Sleeper is my favorite submission hold, my favorite choke, if you will, in wrestling. Is Absolutely, the and then they started, They so they went from that brawling aspect to an actual back and forth. Now you're actually seeing that technical. Hell so yeah. again, you're seeing this evolution in this match that is not just like a, hey, I don't like you and I'm gonna have a fight. Yeah. Then all of a sudden there, you move from that brawling to actually this technical wrestling. You gotta figure out, when you're fighting somebody, man, like you go into a fight, you have an idea, you have a game plan, right? Sure. But Mike Tyson said, everybody has a game plan until they get punched in the mouth, all right? So maybe they punch each other in the mouth, that didn't work. Adrian tried to take to the top rope, that didn't work. Now they have a wrestling match. We got sleepers, we got arm bars, we got all kinds of stuff. And then once again, we got some more high flying, we got some other stuff happening, and then of course, he kicks him in the ding -a -ling. He kicked him low again. 
And that's, you know, I think that you have, and you see him just reveling in it as, as he's left lane. In, what a in, hater. What a hater. Oh, and he's throwing up his East Coast. Man, don't even throw up East Coast. You know where the hell you are? Man, he had me upset with all that East Coast bias. Now, Tupac and Biggie squashed their beef a long time ago. They're in heaven playing spades. But I don't know how to feel about this guy talking trash about the West Coast. So you know what, Mr. Limelight? Next time you come out, you got something to say about the West Coast? I might have to pull Anthony and start booing you. Like, boo! I might have to be that guy. But you know what? I, I will recognize your talent. You still got the... Well, he didn't get the W. You got disqualified. You got disqualified. Yeah, I feel but, like he got but, the W because he got one over my boy. But, well, that's exactly it. Does, does it really matter? He still went to the pay window. Yeah, he sure did. You know, but uh, it doesn't really matter because he got his gratification. Quest, I'm making a special request. I hope you get to wrestle this guy again. And when you do, beat the stuff out of him. Maybe we need a no DQ match. Maybe we need something where you bring a bring your own weapon kind of match. Like, I don't know. Let's show him what the West Coast is all about and give him some some proper good old fashioned passion to ass whooping as Eminem used to say. So that's how I feel. That's what I want to see. Pedia? Uh, I am 210% behind that. You can't be kicking my man low over and over again and expect not to have some freaking repercussions. So B-Boy, if you're watching this and I know you are, can my man have a weapon? Can he get some brass knuckles or something? Uh, how, about, how about no DQ or, you know, some? We, I think there needs to be a stipulation. There, yeah. there, there needs to be something with consequences. I like that. You know, there's no DQ. You, you come over to the jack, I'll give you my cane. <laughs> Get sugar out for him. That's how we do it on the West Coast, sucker. You don't mess with my people. I'm just kidding. All right. So that was a hell of a match. I got a little emotional. I got a little involved there. I'm sorry, Pete. No, it's understood. But we went to intermission. But what about tomorrow? Ooh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's a hell of a match. Tomorrow's going to be our good friends 8-Bit Lit taking on none other than the Wolf Zaddies. Am I right? No. No? It's against B-Boy. <gasps> oh, I messed I it up. So, I forgot. I've seen too much wrestling lately. I understood. I'm, I'm between championship and bar and ground zero. I'm, I don't know how you keep all this straight, man. It's tough. So please, correct me. Tell the people what we have going on. Yeah, so we've got Hopkins and J2 yes. for 8-Bit Lit, and then we've also got Douglas James, Ooh. and it was uh, substituting for Ruby Ray. Hell yeah. That was a big surprise. We'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow, but B-Boy, just look at this man right here. This is another dude you don't want to see in the dark alley. No. You don't want to trifle with B-Boy. B-Boy's been around the block and he knows how to whoop your ass off the block. All right, so tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 noon Eastern, we're going to talk about this match and we will see you then. Pete? Yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.